Does anybody else remember Star Wars Tazos? Eating packets and packets of crisps so that you could collect all 50, safe in the knowledge that one day they'd be worth a lot of money. Well, I've got some disappointing news for you. It's been 20 years. And the full set is going for less than £5 on eBay. It's not even going to pay for my crisps. I feel like I was lied to. Oh, what, another ten seconds? Oh, come on! <sighs> I've got a bad feeling about this. Hi, welcome to today's video. It's Outstanding Factoids about Star Wars. Yes. Uh, personally, one of my favourite franchise films today. Here's 10 things you may not have known. Number one, name changes. There's been many name changes in Star Wars from original scripts and ideas in the brainstorm leading up to the final films. Here's a few that might interest you. The very first script within the concept of Star Wars written by George Lucas revolved around a character called Mace Windy. This obviously later on became Mace Windu in the pre-sequels, uh, but the character was scrapped for the original films that came out, and they went with the Skywalker family, whose original name in the texts was Starkiller. There's a lovely Easter egg for that in The Force Awakens. No spoilers! Uh, another name that uh, was scrapped from the original process of putting a film together and uh, later on became a little bit of a reference in something else was the original title for A New Hope. Uh, it was going to be Blue Harvest, which later on became the title of the Family Guy parody. Lucasfilm, in fact, gave Seth MacFarlane for Family Guy full access to all the copyrighted tracks and references needed to tribute to the comedy spoof. Number two, the line, I've got a bad feeling about this, is featured in the films more than any other line. In fact, up to date, bearing in mind we're now waiting for Rogue One at the time of this video released on YouTube, the line has been uttered nine times within a Star Wars film. The record holder for the line is Harrison Ford's Han Solo, who says it for the third time in The Force Awakens. Number three. The part for Mace Windu in the pre-sequels was originally considered for Tupac Kashir. Yes, that's right. Even before Samuel Jackson was approached, Lucasfilm was in basic talks with Tupac. Unfortunately, he uh, died before filming or even casting got underway. Number four. The only Star Wars actor to have made an appearance and have a credit in all seven previously released films is Anthony Daniels, the actor of C-3PO. Number five. This is a big one for Star Wars fans. You're probably completely aware of this already. It's the big question. Who shot who first? Was it Han Solo or was it Greto? Well, if you go back to the original film, it is in fact Han Solo. This said a little bit later on when they did the digital remasters in the 90s, it was edited and an extra laser shot was put into the scene to show that Greto shot first and that Han was defending himself. Harrison Ford was asked about this on Twitter a few years ago. He was asked the question, who shot first, Han or Greto? And his response was quite simply, I don't know and I don't care. It completely depends which version of the original you're watching. 
If it's on DVD, it's Greto. If it's on VHS, it's Han Solo. If you don't know what VHS is, you need to ask a grown-up. Six, a psych I quite recently found out and I found interesting myself. Obviously there's many sound effects and very cool unique noises associated with Star Wars. So uh, here's sort of two in one. Uh, the one I found out quite recently I enjoyed is that General Grievous's cough is in fact George Lucas's cough. Uh, he genuinely was feeling a bit poorly at the time of filming so they made some recordings off camera of him coughing up his guts and edited it into the film at a later date. Also the famous screeching noise of a flying TIE fighter is in fact various effects added onto the noise of an elephant believe it or not. There's one you might not have known. Outstanding factoid number seven. At the time of filming The Force Awakens, Mark Hamill was 63 years old. Not particularly interesting, but by complete coincidence, the same age as Sir Alec Guinness in the original A New Hope. Damn you old! Number eight. The role Han Solo was originally offered to Al Pacino. Big fan of Al Pacino, however, he turned this one down. The reason for it being, quite simply, he couldn't really see the film being a success. He was a little bit wrong there. Thank God for the Godfather. Another little interesting fact on Han Solo is that early drafts for the script depicted him as a green alien-like creature. But they changed it to make him a little bit more human and relatable to the audience. Number nine. In the original Star Wars films, the big villain, yes, Darth Vader, was kind of played by various roles. He had a face actor, he had his famous voiceover with Earl Jones, and the actor himself, the staggering figure that he is, is David Prowse. Uh, David Prowse has had a bit of a love-hate relationship with Lucasfilm over the years. Generally hate. Uh, but did you know he in fact dropped the spoiler of the century? Before The Empire Strikes came out, a year before The Empire Strikes came out, he dropped the bombshell that Darth Vader was Luke's father. Spoiler alert! Yes, <laughs> okay. A thousand fans were present for interviews and sign-ins and various Comic-Con style stuff. And yeah, they knew a year before. But luckily, we didn't have the internet at the time. So most people were very much in the dark until they saw it at the cinema. Woo! Don't you go doing that now. Outstanding factoid number 10. This is probably my favourite and that's the complete reason I've saved it till the end. In Star Wars The Force Awakens, when we first meet the character Finn, he's introduced as FN2187, his Stormtrooper name. However, did you know the last four digits of his name? 2187, <laughs> had to remember it then. Uh, are in fact exactly the same as Princess Leia's cell block on the Death Star from Star Wars A New Hope. It's a lovely little easter egg in there and one for the keen eye. So those are my 10 outstanding factoids about Star Wars. I hope you enjoyed them. I hope there was at least one of them that you didn't know if you're an absolute Star Wars fanatic. I personally love learning stuff about the franchise. I'm very excited about Rogue One coming out in December and then the next four films coming from that. Episode eight is gonna look interesting, I think, from the little bits and bobs that they've managed to sort of see. We know nothing, but I'm excited nevertheless. I'm living my childhood once again, and I know I'm not alone. If you've got an unusual Star Wars factoid or something I might not know, no spoilers for future films, please don't be doing that for me. I might cry. But if you do have something particularly interesting that I may not know, please, please leave it in the comments because I'd love to learn a little bit more about my favourite franchise film. If you particularly enjoyed my video today for more vlogs and outstanding factoids, just subscribe down below or feel free to share this video on social media. Thank you.